speak, um, Mr. Speaker, to add some colour to my speech, I'll be speaking in Bangla. Rest assured, translation will be provided. What is the current state of the bar in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic? Looking back at history, the last major London plague was chronicled by Daniel Defoe in his A Journal of the Plague Year. In it, he recorded the horror of the plague through the eyes of a saddler living in the East End. 300 years on, the socioeconomic inequalities recorded by Defoe have remained the same. Those at the bottom of society, working families and low income, those in precarious employment, minority communities. It has brought into stark contrast the decade-long effects of austerity and the hostile environment towards migrants. Then we have the immense social cleansing our borough has witnessed. As a result of public policies, we have working class communities and independent businesses being forced out, something documented by the Ranami Trust. To, con to put it succinctly, the strong do what they can and the weak suffer, they must. The results seen in the trenches dug in the local cemetery to bury the, cemeteries to bury the dead from the COVID-19 pandemic. As a grassroots campaigner first and a councillor second, throughout the pandemic, I have fought to maintain contact with residents and have a finger on the pulse and ascertain the state of the borough. A grassroots campaigning record, which I sought to maintain as an elected official. For example, with the campaign to keep the nurseries open, with the campaign to keep the community language service, with the campaign to keep the 400-year-old Whitechapel Bell Foundry open, where campaigners on all three occasions felt certain assurances that were given and then broken. Given the devastation brought by the COVID-19 pandemic and the ravages brought on by social cleansing, residents are not cowed but are defiant in the face of adversity. As in Bangla, there is a saying, loi, loi, loi chai, lorai kore, baste chai. In English, to put it succinctly, the struggle is necessary, the struggle is permanent. I saw in the height of the pandemic as a resident of Whitechapel where residents organized to roll out, stop the rollout of a flawed livable streets consultation, later on admitted by the council. As a participant, I witnessed during the pandemic the growth and momentum of the Save Brick Lane campaign. Not a community campaign, but the community campaign, reflecting and including all demographics that reflect our vibrant East End. Now aiming to construct a new civic identity with values in the form of a proposed master plan. Before I was elected, I gave residents my word that I will not play the game once elected and stand by their side. So far, it's been a struggle, but I kept it. For one thing my father taught me was that a human comes into the world naked and leaves the world without any possessions. All they have is their word to the barn. In my, three years, left. In my <laughs> three years as an elected official, I observed the residents of the East End have their own game and they want change, they want a better life and they'll defend their communities. And in Bangla, it goes like this. In English, it means basically people will come to attack our communities. But I'll be here, my friend. You'll be here with me, and we'll give them the game of their life. So, to to summarise, the state of the borough is kela hobe, game on. Bring it on. Thank you very much. Thank you.